so I've gotten a bunch of requests in the past on render settings, uh, color correction, and you know just a bunch of random questions on uh, Premiere Elements 8. So I figured it was about time that I do a tutorial on it. So hopefully this helps, hopefully this answers some questions for you that use Premiere Elements 8. I know from the past when I've tried to find help using this program, YouTube doesn't have a whole lot on it, especially if you're doing stuff with uh, video games. Um, there's really no tutorials on that. You can find some tutorials on some random stuff, but really nothing um, that's going to help you with like your PBR or anything. Alright, so some basic stuff. I mean, pretty simple. Pick your project name, whatever you want to name it. Pick a folder you're going to save it to, um, and then change your settings. Uh, mine's already defaulted to this one because this is the one that I use all the time. Um, and if you're using a PBR, this is the one I suggest you use. Um, you can use some of the, the other ones. Um, but this is the best one. It's 720p, 30 frames. Uh, that's the basic. That's what you're going to want to use. Um, so you pick that. Pretty bi basic. Once we're done, yep, we're going to overwrite because I already had a project, my project. So There should be two clips in here already. Um, so one's just going to be my intro, which is your normal video. And another is just a post roll that I made um, for the end of your video. It kind of shows you your... Um, you know, whatever you wanted to put in here. And the nice thing about Premiere Elements 8 is that for the price, you can get that and Photoshop Elements together for like a hundred bucks. Um, and you can create your own Photoshop files and then put them in your videos. Uh, so you can make borders, uh, you can make post rolls like this, you can make all kinds of stuff to add right into your video. Um, so once you have your clip in here, and you know you've clipped it out you've edited it I'm not going to go into too much on editing it and cutting it out and however you wanted it but it's pretty straightforward if you want me to and you like this and you want me to go into more depth into this program I will I really just want to kind of see if this is going to be something that is worth my while to put up if people are going to like this and judging by the amount of questions I've gotten on it I think this is probably going to be pretty good for people um, so once you've done that you've got it how you like it you have your intro you have your gameplay you have your post roll whatever you're going to do um, you better do your montage or your mini edit. Um, you're going to want to go into your share, um, which is where you're going to render it from. This is going to be the settings that you're going to use to render. So you can use personal computer, and you're going to want to select MPEG. Your PVR, you should use the MP4 setting, which I believe is Xbox. The Xbox setting on your PVR capture module, I want to say it's Xbox. Uh, the mp4 file is how it's being saved um, and that's the one you should use that's the best file that YouTube likes is an mp4 so you're gonna capture an mp4 you're gonna render an mp4 and then you're gonna upload it as an mp4 to YouTube and it's gonna keep your quality the same you don't wanna mess around with changing qualities up and down too much um, it'll actually degrade your quality so by keeping it all the same it's gonna look the best so we're gonna keep mp4 um, and then your presets I already have some presets picked out, you know, from testing different things. Um, and that's going to be the best thing here is just to test out what you like. So I'm just going to give you a general idea of where I got started at and where you're going to get some good quality from. And then it's really up to you to decide what you want to do with it. Um, so when you pick your drop down, you're going to want to use HD 720p 30 frames, which is what we started the project as. You're going to name your project however you wanted to name it. Again, you're going to pick where you want it to save to, and then you're going to go to advanced. Um, and this is where you're going to pick the settings, really, of how you want it to look. So, I would say always go to 5 for quality. I don't see why you shouldn't, so just go to 5 for quality. We're going to make it as good as we can. Um, this is going to stay the same. 29.97 is what YouTube is going to convert your video to anyway, so rendering it out in 60 frames or 59 frames is really pointless at this point. Um, especially if you're just doing gameplay um, or something like that. You're not going to, don't mess with that. Uh, so we're going to leave all this the same. Bitrate is the important part here. Where you set your bitrate at is going to determine your quality, and it's also going to determine how big the file is. Um, your PVR saves at 13.5 bitrate if you have it maxed out. Um, if you don't have it maxed out, I mean, you can adjust it, but PVR goes up to 13.5 when it saves. Um, so I would suggest like 10, like 10, 15, and 20. So 10 for your minimum, your target around 15, and then 20 for... Um, your max somewhere in there. Um, obviously, the higher you go, the quality is going to look a little better. 
I wouldn't go something stupid all the way out here to like 45. That would, wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. But um, I mean, I have done like minimum 15. Like if you really want something to look really good, I mean like 15, 20, 25, somewhere in there. Um, that's gonna be good. It's it's gonna make the file bigger. So you gotta remember that if your connection's not that good, your upload speed, um, and it struggles to upload videos for you to YouTube, and it takes a little while, then you might not want to save them at you know that high. Um, if you don't have any problem with that or you don't mind waiting, but you want the good quality, then you know put them there. It just has to decide what you want. Um, so that's why I have like PVR one to one and a half. Um, so I have have them set like at different intervals, like a lower quality one, a medium, and a high one. So you maybe want to do something like that. Uh, so once you have that set, that's pretty much it. Everything else is pretty much going to be the same here. You're not going to really want to change anything. Uh, it's all going to be preset pr the way you want it. Audio again, you don't have to change anything in here. Um, that's all going to be fine. So everything once you have that all set, and you hit OK, it asks you to save it um, to the name you want to save it. Save it as whatever you want to save it. I'm not going to save anything because I, I already have it set. Um, once you're done there, you're going to hit save and this is going to start to render out. Um, I won't render it right now because um, you can go to my channel. I mean, my uh, intro is there. You can see what that looks like. Uh, my last mini edit that I did, the World of War clip, um, I had that the bitrate pretty high on that one. And I think the quality is pretty, pretty amazing on that uh, if you put it to 720p. Uh, so you can check those out. If you want me to go more in depth in this, and you like this, and this helped you, um, or you have other questions, maybe something I'm not thinking about um, that you still want answered, let me know, you know, leave me a comment, send me a message. I'm usually pretty good about commenting back to people, uh, so just let me know. Uh, if this is a hit and it's helpful for you guys, I'll keep doing these. Um, I've gotten pretty good with this. I am still learning these, but um, for the most part, I've gotten pretty good at uh, using this program. For the price, you can't beat it this and Photoshop Elements you can buy the 8 you probably can buy for under a hundred dollars now um, they have come out with 10 uh, the newest one which is probably even better and you, I think you get the bundle of those two for like hundred and twenty dollars so compare that to like eight hundred for Sony, or Sony Vegas and a thousand for After Effects um, you know this program stacks up pretty well to that uh, to those and it's gonna get what you need to have done um, for kind of your basic stuff, especially if you're just starting out, you know, there's no point in spending all that money uh, when you're first starting out and stuff. And then, you know, if, as you get better at it, then maybe you want to upgrade your programs. But um, I'm going to stop talking now. If this helps, you know, let me know. Uh, have a good one.